Welcome back to Midco Sports tonight. It's a battle of two 3-0 teams this weekend in Macomb, Illinois, and something has to give. 10th ranked USD takes on the 13th ranked Leathernecks of Western Illinois to open up Missouri Valley Conference play tomorrow at 3 p.m. from Hanson Field. Our own Jay Elson sat in with Bob Nielsen to preview the team that Nielsen is all too familiar with. Well, that perfect non-conference season now in the past, Bob. From here on out, it's, of course, all about the Missouri Valley Football Conference. So let me ask you, how ready are you for this next challenge of your football season? Well, you're going to have to be ready. Um, you know, Missouri Valley Conference, I think, is tougher from top to bottom than it's been in, in my four-year uh, plus tenure uh, in the league and uh, certainly a tough road game for us to start out with. Yeah, you talk about up first, of course, program and a place that you are very familiar with. This will be your first opportunity to coach against Western Illinois as head coach of the Coyotes. So how are you feeling about that part of it? A little more personal for you this time. Yeah, you know, uh, last year when they came here, uh, you know, it was uh, you got you, you still know a lot of the players uh, that you were uh, coached and, and, and recruited to the program. And now this year, you know, going back uh, to Macomb, uh, yeah, they'll, there's there's some emotions uh, that are in that, but uh, certainly uh, the the focus is be will be on our team and and playing as as high a level as possible. Talk about focus. Do you feel good about where your focus as a football team is through this bye week and and now into game week? I think our bye week was productive. Uh, we practiced three days. Uh, uh, got an opportunity to get a little bit of a jump start on our Western Illinois preparation. At the same time, uh, tried to work on some things fundamentally that we hope is going to make our team better down the road. And since you do have a unique knowledge of where you're headed this week, and that being Macomb and Hanson Field, that is a place that has not been particularly kind to USD in, in uh, the last few years. Just one win in, in three tries overall, 0-2 oh, in the Valley at that particular venue. So why is this place – such a difficult place for road teams to go in and play well. Well, I think two things. Number one, uh, they're a, they're a team and a program that takes great pride in playing at home, and so they're always going to play their best uh, uh, at home. Uh, the other thing is, it's a little bit like our place. It's not the easiest place to get in and out of, uh, tran transportation wise, and and so from a standpoint of of uh, getting you kind of out of your normal road sink, it has the ability to do that to you if you let it. Well, Leathernex really have it rolling right now, 3-0 and after a win over FBS Coastal Carolina last week. What are some of the biggest challenges that this team is, is going to present? Well, they're a very experienced football team. Um, they they uh, have a balanced offense, a talented quarterback, a uh, couple of talented running backs, a big uh, uh, experienced offensive line. So they're a team that you got to defend the run against. And, and when you do that uh, to a certain extent, uh, they're going to try to take advantage of some things through the air. Defensively, um, again, you know, a lot of experience, a lot of guys that have played a lot. Uh, they, they do a really good job of getting you off schedule. And if you look at the first three weeks, they've done an excellent job of that against those first three opponents. So that's going to be one of the challenges for us is to find a way to stay on schedule offensively. Statistically, things look pretty even, both sides of the ball, really, to this point in the season. So, so what do you feel like you have to do in this football game to create an advantage for yourself? Well, you got to do a lot of little things right. Um, you know, both teams are really good at taking care of the football. You know, so it's things like turnovers and field position in the kicking game that have a chance to go a long way in determining the uh, the outcome. It, it's going to test us, I think, differently than what we've been tested uh, in terms of uh, defense from a, from a rush defense standpoint. So we're going to have to be good against the, the running game as we have uh, through the first part of the year. Obviously, off to a great start, 3-0 this year. What can a win to open Valley play really do for you guys as, as you move forward now? Well, if you're going to make a, a run in the Valley, one of the critical things is that you've got to find a way to win some games on the road. And uh, because all of your, your road games are going to be tough games. And, and so that's, uh, that's one of the things that we've got to do is we've got to find a way to win games on the road. And obviously going on the road first week, uh, you know, gives you a chance to do that. And so we're going to have to keep playing well. All right, South Dakota at Western Illinois in the Valley opener coming up 3 p.m. Saturday in Macomb. We'll be back to break it all down for you next week on Midco Sports tonight. Kelly, back to you. All right, thanks, Jay and Coach Nielsen. Jay will be on the road with the Coyotes this weekend, so make sure to follow him on Twitter. That's at Elson Midco SN for updates from Macomb. And the game will also be streaming on ESPN3. Again, 3 p.m. Central kickoff to Open Valley Play. Next on the show, more FCS preview action with Alex Heinert and Bubba Schweiger as the Fighting Hawks head to Cali to take on UC Davis. And later we go around the NSIC with David Brown. Stay right here.